Hi everyone, Exeter Rider, thanks for coming along to this video now. This might seem a exciting video, but unfortunately my GoPro full-on pulled its pants uh, right in the sort of, as soon as I got out onto the road, uh, it basically just froze on me. Uh, the problem being is that I had about 10 other people behind me, so I couldn't stop to fight around with my GoPro when the ride was still going on. So I, I tried to sort it out when I was on the bike and I couldn't, and yeah, it just absolutely blinking disaster. So this isn't uh, the, the review that I wanted it to be or, or a test ride that I wanted it to be. Um, and that's just the way it goes. Unfortunately, like I say, with it being just a test ride, I didn't have time to stop and sort it out. Whereas most reviews on a long-term loan, uh, you know, I, I can just re reshoot it no problem uh yeah bit hacked off about it but uh, what i'm going to do I, I don't want to feed you crap videos but at the same time um i think there's enough here to to show you so i thought i might as well just crack on and show you this so sorry it's not a full review i fully understand if you want to turn off now or skip through it then just do that but uh, I've done my best and um, hopefully maybe one day I'll get another ride on it. Such a shame because the bike itself was absolutely superb. A very, very, very good bike indeed. Um, in a very crowded uh, sort of marketplace for this type of bike. But yeah, it, it keeps it head, keeps it head of, its head above water on this one. Anyway, I'll show you the video and uh, as I say, apologies that it's a, a bit of a crappy one. Luckily there are things going on in the background so I'm hoping at some point to get a long-term loan of this bike uh, or you know others as well so we'll just see how that goes hi everyone hope you're doing well this week is the suzuki 800 de which is a new adventure bike by suzuki um, it kind of might be replacing the 650v strom which was that one there which i've already done a video on so do check that out i'll put a card up in the corner if, uh, if you want to see that so what I've heard already is that this bike is meant to be pretty pretty damn good it's been quite a popular uh, quite a well anticipated machine and uh, let's have a little look around first before we get on and ride it so we've got twin uh, discs at the front there I guess they're around 260 ish um, spoked wheels uh, this bike comes in around 10,700 pounds I believe so uh, price wise it's not too bad considering what it is and what it's designed to do got those little headlights there which are going to be uh you know personal choice whether you like that or not little screen up the top there which i guess you'll be able to get a taller one if you do a lot of touring or faster roads and long mile munching roads um, adjustable shock here as well just on the dial which is feels quite nice fit and finish looks you know pretty superb um, it is a Suzuki so that's what you'd expect from them anyway rear disc there trail max uh, mixed tour tires made by Dunlop I guess that's a 18 no it's a 17 on the rear and on the front we have a and a 21 on the front as well so uh, looks quite nice, like I say, that's going to be subjective there, there's no doubt about that. Some people will like it, some people won't. Uh, traction control we have on this, rev bar, miles per hour, gear selector there, uh, traction control settings, ABS settings as well, in, in, that's interesting. Um, and that's the like the sports mode and all the different modes you can get for riding it. So, fuel bar, uh, fuel till empty, and I'm sure we can flick through that and see what's what as well. Um, air temperature 26 far too hot believe me um, but yes yeah, it looks quite really quite nice that very crisp and uh, you, know, you can really see that speedo there as well which is really important isn't it that's all you want to see really when you're riding is that that's what you're looking at all the time isn't it uh, wide bars very very wide bars actually uh, how wide are they I don't know I'll put it up on screen how wide they are uh, switch gear wise Got all the mode selectors here, indicators. That all feels really nice, really plush. Hazards and start button. I guess that's the Suzuki Easy Start system. 
So what happens there is when you push the button, it will uh, it won't wind around and around. You just literally push it once, and it will just keep turning until it starts, which obviously is very quick anyway. Uh, seat comfort, it's very narrow here, look. So if you're quite short, then hopefully you should get your feet down all right. Still looks quite a, a bike that's quite high up, but obviously it will sink once you sit on it and uh, and it drops down a bit there. So, uh, I mean, yeah, a, a very well spec bike to be fair. It looks really good. So no doubt, no in Suzuki, the, the engine will be um, pretty spot on as well. I don't know if you remember, but I did actually ride the GSX GT last year. Uh, immensely brilliant machine. I, I really adore this bike. If I was going for a sports bike, then it would be one of these. But uh, yeah, so this is what I'm going to try today. So what I'll do is I'll just get suited and booted and we'll go out for a ride. All right, here we go then guys. Fire up the screen. Looks nice. To be fair, I'm surprised how top heavy this is at the moment. You okay? I'm all good, mate. Good, good. All right. Suzuki Easy Start System. See what I mean? You just push it once, you dab it, and it will just keep turning until it actually moves and, and goes. So, uh... All right, off we go. First impressions. I've been sat... Last time I see my little mate, give him a high five. <laughs> Ray of sunshine, that bloke. <laughs> yes, overall, uh, hopefully I've got that. I know that my GoPro pooed its pants uh, before I finish. I missed a lot of the ride, which was very frustrating. It just froze on me, and now it seems to have restarted again and come back to normal right when I come back in the end. Uh, crappy GoPro. Anyway, um, it rarely happens, to be fair, but yeah, it had to be on this one when I've only got 45 minutes with it rather than, uh, you know, three weeks. So, hey-ho, that's life. What do I think of it? Lovely bike, great cornering. Uh, the 21-inch wheel actually, you know, feels like you know where you are with it. It doesn't, not one of those 21 inches that kind of feels a bit lost and a bit, um, you don't know where you are with it. Uh, suspension, beautiful. Seat, all day comfortable. Uh, great for carrying a pillion, I would imagine. Uh, plenty of power. Um, uh, so much I wanted to say because I don't know what I've recorded and what I haven't. Um, but yeah, fantastic bike for the money as well. You know, it's um, I think this is around ten and a half, which in today's standards, when you look at the uh, BMW 850, I guess, and maybe the Trans Out might be the competition, which is around the same price. Haven't ridden the Trans Out yet. Uh, I'd imagine that's pretty tasty as well. Um, but yeah, this has got a lot, lot to offer. If you're on, on the market for a um, bike around this capacity. Yeah, this capacity, then uh, and you must try this one. Yeah, I highly recommend this one, this bike. Thank you, mate. Brilliant. So overall, yeah, fantastic bike. Um, really, really well done Suzuki on that one. They need commending on this one because that's a, a heck of a machine. And uh, in a competitive place now in the market, of course, with what Honda I have. And um, mine's gone blank at the moment. It's been a long weekend. But uh, yeah, competitive place, but it's a, a worthy place. Uh, certainly in the top two there, I think. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope that I got as much as I needed to get uh, I appreciate you coming along and uh, I appreciate you even more if you could give it a good thumbs up would be fantastic um, also by the looks of it <laughs> I nearly forgot I'm just doing the outro and I've forgotten things um, hand guards as well as standard and a rear rack uh, as standard as well so it's kind of set and ready to go really I don't really think you need to upgrade much on this bike uh, I think you just pay the money, get the 50-50 tyres if they're suitable for you, and away you go. Thanks for watching. See you next week, Sunday at 4pm. Cheers.